Zoe. Mike. Please. I don't know how to do the next part of the show. And I think you know that. Mm -hmm. Last week, we have... We introduced what is now an ongoing saga. And it was a story Mm -hmm. about one of your clients. Mm -hmm. Everyone involved shall remain nameless. Mm -hmm. Since the beginning of time, forever and always. Amen. Yes. Even though you're probably going to lose one right now. Might win some, but you just lost one. So keep going. So, well, it's your story, dog. All right. So last week we were talking about my client who went out on a date. Yes. Okay. And he came in and told me how, you know, he thought it went well. There was a hand-holding conversation. And then she told him, no, I can't date somebody that wants to hold hands on a second date. Uh Uh-huh. Well... Second date girl, okay? Yes. Finds the clip from last week's episode. Yes. And DMs Mike. DMs me. Found me and said, I don't know how this happened. I The clip that Kevin made about the holding hands on the second date conversation... Uh, found its way to me. I watched it, and I think you're talking about me. And I said, what? And she said that again. And then I was like, just to be sure, what is the guy's name that you went out? Because maybe this is just the weirdest coincidence that there's ever been. And then she said the guy's name, and it was the guy's name. So now we have two, two sides of the coin. Two different stories, competing stories, conflicting stories of the same situation. So as we understood it last week, a man and a woman, boy and a girl, Uh went out on a date that was fine. Mm -hmm. And then there was a conversation started. And this is how the story went last week. Mm -hmm. Started by the girl. Mm -hmm. But, okay, can can we... Pause for one second. I'm sorry. I don't. Of course. Yeah. This is also coming secondhand, right? So, like, I've Listen. seen clients all week long. Uh huh. You're in broken robot mode. I am in broken robot mode. Is there a chance, De La Zier, chance De La Zier, De La Zier? What is the what's the French word I'm thinking of? So, how do you get the pronunciation of Champs Elysees right? What is the typical French pronunciation of Champs Elysees, the most famous avenue in the world and the most prestigious street in Paris, France? Champs De La De. I know what I'm trying to say. Okay. First, let's clear out how not to pronounce it. De La Zier. Champs De La Zier. De La Zier. Champs De La Zier. I think it's the final stage of the Tour de France. <laughs> Probably not. Anyway, moving along. Pretty stupid. That I may have left something or fucked something up. Yes. But such an important detail. The way I heard the story, and you tell me if this is right or wrong, as it pertains, as it, the story mm-hmm. in its form mm-hmm. last week. Boy and girl go out on a date. Mm-hmm. Boy and girl get into a conversation initiated by the girl about when is too early to hold hands or would you ever hold hands yeah that's how i interpreted it yes so anyway that and then i said dude if you initiate a conversation about how holding hands on the second date is too soon to hold hands Mm -hmm. and then you're out after that Mm -hmm. you're just looking for an out that's a loser thing to do yeah Mm-hmm. And I said, you're a coward. Exactly. You're an idiot. Yeah. And I said, you're, this is basically just ghosting someone to their face. You're like a coward and an idiot. And I said all these things. Send this to her. And this person was not appreciative of the way that this went down. Yeah. Because that's not the order of how things happen. Yeah. And so I was informed of the order yeah. Of how things happen. Yeah. So here's the way things really went down. They also, go out on the date. They have a fine time. Yes. They go back. They text each other. Maybe night of date. Maybe night after date. 
Yes. Zoya, not interested last no, week, not I'm interested sorry. this week. No. <laughs> I'm listening. I was sent texts. I was sent screenshots of texts, which I'll say it feels like too much. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> but regardless, one, it's not a big deal. Two, we'll never use their they're both protected. Yes. Three. I'm gonna have to text him about this. Have to. I have to. Because it's happening. Yes. And the only reason I'm still talking about it now is we need to have a conclusion mm-hmm. now that we're presented with different facts. I want both of them to write us something like a like a dissertation yes essay yes four paragraphs so that this way i really love my client and i will be sad if i do lose a client over this you're not gonna lose the client Um, because you might have been the one who fucked it up yeah Yeah. (laughs) so anyway there was a conversation about pda and hand holding initiated by the guy part Mm -hmm. your boy yeah not initiated by the girl part. Mm-hmm. Somebody else's girl. Yes. And then it became a matter of two people who were on just two separate pages. Yeah. One of them wanted the physical stuff earlier. Mm-hmm. And one of them was like, I need to get to know somebody before there's physical stuff. Right. But I'll tell you this. I'll tell you what it wasn't. It wasn't the girl bringing it up. Hey, would you ever hold hands on some on a day? Maybe this is why it sounded so fucking ridiculous to us, because the order of operations doesn't matter. Yeah, the way we understood it, the girl out of nowhere was like, "Would you hold hands with somebody on the second date?" Mm-hmm. Guy says yes. Girl says, "Ew, I'm out of here." That's how we thought it happened last week. Right, it's not the case, and we have the proof. Yeah. So I just want to say, I guess we stand corrected. Mm-hmm. I don't walk back anything that i said last week because i was it's circumstantial evidence that's a goddamn nightmare i was basing my opinion on something that didn't happen right but if it did go down like we thought it went down last week i would have said all the same shit again yeah. but i will say that the, reading their texts which felt <laughs> terrible yeah um, even though there was nothing really juicy no, in there at all. No, there wasn't. I just think that it's, a, as it usually is, it's just a matter of people who are on two different pages. Yeah. And the good part, it kind of feeds into what we were saying about you say what you want and you make it awkward. Mm-hmm. And then if it doesn't match up, it sucks to like, you know, you went out. You're both attractive people. Mm -hmm. You would love a second or third date. You're looking at this person like, I would love to make out with that person. But we're on two different wavelengths. So it's not going to be good. Any pursuit of making out after you understand that you're on two different wavelengths is a goddamn hassle. So what these people did was fumble around, as you do in the dating world. Yes. They were and you floundering. come to the conclusion. Yes. <laughs> you come to the conclusion that you're not for each other. Right. Or they could both listen to this fucking show and have a big laugh and have another pumpkin spice latte and talk about it. But something in me says that's not gonna happen. Honestly, that would be fucking hilarious. It would be did. hilarious, but at the end of that date, once podcast conversation wears off, you're still back at yeah. square one. Yeah. Or you learn a little something about each other, don't you? And when she sent me that first DM, like, this isn't exactly how the story went. Mm -hmm. I was, you know, I randomly found your podcast, which I still can't believe. Yeah. Because I have not to, you know, whatever. I have 150,000 subscribers who can't find my podcast. (laughs) (laughs) But this fucking person is on the stage. How does the algorithm find you? (laughs) 